Vertical Aerospace's plans for its four-passenger Evatol aircraft to be ready to start commercial flights in 2025 have been more visible this summer, with the company preparing for a key first flight of its full-scale VX4 prototype. At the Farnborough Air Show in July, thousands of visitors swarmed past the mock-up that the UK company displayed there. And momentum has also been building with the companies that will actually operate the aircraft on flights of over 100 miles. We've now sold 1,400 aircraft. We've got, what, $5.6 billion worth of orders. But we're now starting with the really important and exciting announcement we had with American to see those translate into firm commitment. So American have now firmed up the first 50 of those aircraft. That involves pre-delivery payments, but also it means they're starting to book slots. So clearly we're going to ramp up on production, but these airlines really want these vehicles as soon as possible. So that's really building momentum for us. Apart from the engineering tasks of building and certifying the aircraft itself, the Vertical team is working closely with prospective customers and other partners to assess every detail of how the new air transport business model will work in practice. Virgin Atlantic Airways will be involved in early flight trials that will evaluate how services could connect London to cities like Bristol, where Vertical is based. We've built these joint working groups with key customers and that's giving us incredible joint insights around, you know, even what are the network planning, we've got capabilities in our organization to help airlines think through how many vehicles, where are they going to deploy them, what are the kind of routes, what are the commercial opportunities. Um, and then we're working as part of a wider ecosystem, so it's not just clearly the airline operators or the helicopter operators or the leasing companies, it's the infrastructure providers, it's the regulators, it's air traffic management, it's city planners, so that whole ecosystem really to say, well, how do we create this new ecosystem to bring an incredible new service to market? If the early market interest in Evatol aircraft translates into firm orders, unprecedentedly high rates of production will be required. And for that, Vertical and its competitors know they will have to be open to new approaches, including tapping expertise from other industries. A lot of what we're going to be demonstrating in those trials is the concept of operation. So how would you take an aircraft like the VX4 and fly into and out of cities like London? So Heathrow, one of the most complex airspace in the world, Bristol Airport, another commercial airport in the UK. And of course the exciting bit for everyone is going to be the real flying, but actually a lot of the really important stuff is the behind the scenes work. How do, you, how do you figure out air traffic management? What are the kind of routes? How do you operate these vehicles? How do you do it safely? How do you keep appropriate separations with other forms of air transport? So our initial route through certification and probably the first couple of years production will be more of a low volume. So somewhere between 50 and 200 aircraft a year. That leverages all of the capabilities of our supply chain. Some of the spare capacity, unfortunately, they have from COVID gets us through certification in a rigorous way with proven technologies, we then see this huge opportunity to have a ramp up. Um, and so we're already working with companies like GKN, Leonardo and Solve about what are the more automated and higher rate capable composite manufacturing and materials technologies that can give us that step change between you know, 200 aircraft a year in maybe 25, 26, 27 to nearer 2000 aircraft by the end of the decade. And I think an interesting bit to add to that is really excitingly, we just announced Mike Fluitt as a new board director. So Mike was originally worked for Ford, producing thousands and thousands of vehicles a year, and then has had an incredibly successful period as um, chief exec of McLaren Automotive. And some of the stuff that we've seen in McLaren Automotive, they've gone literally in a space of about four or five years to incredible automated composite uh, car manufacturing, so all the carbon monocoque, fully composite, five and a half thousand vehicles a year. So that's got huge synergies between what we're trying to achieve in terms of the volumes and the technologies and the capabilities for our industry. But first, the all-electric VX4 has to prove it can take to the air safely. And that day is getting closer as excitement builds for the vertical aerospace team. In Kemble, which is not far from Bristol, we're going through the final stages of preparing our prototype for flight. Uh, we're gonna be flying it over the summer. Uh, we'll build up that flight campaign very steadily to really kind of expand from initial 
sort of hops off the ground, if you like, into a broader flight envelope. But it's an incredibly exciting time for the company where you know, all this hard work to really build a full-scale prototype and all the learning that we're getting from that is now coming to fruition. Well, futureflight.aero will certainly be covering that eventful first flight. In fact, we've got all the news from the advanced air mobility sector on our radar 24-7. So stick with us and make sure you don't miss anything. You can sign up for our free weekly newsletter. And thank you for watching this video.